Now we find ourselves in the Mirabel Gardens. When we reach the Pegasus Fountain and turn round, we can see the last remaining Baroque exterior facade of Mirabel Palace. We then get an idea of what Mirabel Palace looked like in its heyday. This inspired not only Wolf Dietrich von Reitenau, but also Julie Andrews and her film team, who made Mirabel Palace extremely famous. The film Sound of Music is known the world over. What an amazing success story of a young novice, Maria, who lived in Nontel Monastery back in 1938 and who was supposed to look after the seven children. The story is well known. Singing is the main focus of the whole family. When you sing, you begin with Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. Do, Re, Mi. The first three notes just happen to be. As obviously they had no computers and no TV. A choir was found at the competition one and Maria falls in love with the Baron, who becomes her husband. When the Nazis arrive, the family escapes to the US, where they perform and become incredibly famous. The film was not a real true account of Maria Augusta von Trapp's life, but it was a great story, which sold very well, and how well. The musical was played 1,500 times on Broadway in New York and 2,400 times in London's West End. The musical is even currently playing in Salzburg. The movie also left a huge impact worldwide. To this day, the international cast with star performers Julie Andrews and Christopher Plummer reached 1.2 billion people around the globe. I simply remember my favorite things and then I don't feel so bad. Sound of Music won five Oscars and the box office results range on third place in the historical list of best movies even before E.T. and Titanic. Every year, these historical settings attract thousands of tourists who come to discover and be photographed. Just to make one thing clear though, Edelweiss is not the Austrian anthem.